Sunday morning. I've just dropped the kids off at school. Um, my husband's driving me to the station, hoping to get the 9.29 train for a really busy week in Westminster. So I'm hoping to speak in a debate tomorrow on families and the impact of the coronavirus on family life, which I think is a really important issue. And I've got lots of um, stories that constituents have told me that I think need to be heard. And um, we're debating the new points-based immigration system this week and lots of other things. Well, I've made it to the train. It's probably going to be empty. It's been empty the last few weeks, sadly. Probably get a carriage to myself again. I've just arrived at St Pancras, managed to catch up with a few emails and write most of my speech on the way. Off to get the underground now. It's nearly one o'clock. I've dropped off my suitcase. I'm walking over Westminster Bridge now into Parliament. I've got an afternoon of meetings. I'm going into the chamber to ask a question. Um, and I think we'll be voting about 10 o'clock tonight, probably. I'm just on my way to the chamber now. I've got a question to the Secretary of State for the Department of Work and Pensions. I'm first on the list, so I need to make sure I'm in my seat early. And I'm glad that the scheme is already helping my constituents in Penniston and Stocksbridge, many of whom are now struggling to find work as a result of the pandemic. But getting people back into work will require a national effort, so can the Minister provide a broader update on the rollout of the scheme? We've just had a meeting with Amanda Soloway, who's the Minister for Science. She's got some really exciting projects underway. And, do you know, it's been great to see you and I am so enthused. We want to become a science superpower, lots of things that we can do. And Miriam, your advice and support has been really appreciated. Good. Well, as a former science teacher, I'm really keen to see science at the forefront of British innovation. So, Yay. looking forward to working with you. Fantastic. I'm just walking down Whitehall now on my way to 10 Downing Street for a meeting. Um, voting isn't imminent. It's only a five minute walk from Parliament to Downing Street. So there's plenty of time to get out and about for meeting. We've had a lot of votes tonight and because we're socially distancing in long queues, voting takes a long time at the moment. Just about finished my speech for tomorrow. Um, just got to tidy it up in the morning. So this morning I spoke in a debate about families and I talked about how we need to strengthen families and communities in the future. And I'm off to meet a member of the House of Lords now who I'm working with um, in some of these issues. And actually families and communities are the main reason that I came into politics. Um, we've got some amazing strength in our communities and families, but also some real challenges. Uh, and I think there's a lot that government can do to make life easier for families. We need to consider the household as a single economic unit with policies that reduce pressure on family life. We should stop viewing free or cheap childcare as the only solution to families' problems and look at how we can redesign the benefit system to allow parents to spend more time at home when their children are young. We need to better understand the economic, health and social benefits to society of resilient family units, putting family at the heart of our levelling up agenda and investing in family hubs. I'm in my office in Parliament, which is where I spend a lot of my time when I'm here in Westminster. Um, it's just been announced that South Yorkshire is going into Tier 3 uh, restrictions from the weekend, so I'm just preparing for a briefing call with health ministers, I'm uh, going to be emailing out to constituents who are asking questions about it and then I'm off to Millbank uh, to do some recording for local and uh, national media uh, about the restrictions. But it is important we take swift action to protect the NHS, to prevent local NHS uh, services becoming overwhelmed. So I really do want to pay tribute to our Mayor Dan Jarvis, to local leaders, to Number 10, to the Department of Health, who've taken a really calm, constructive and collaborative approach over the past few days, which I think shows that we don't all hate each other in Yorkshire, despite common perception. So I've just asked a question in the statement in the House about the new Tier 3 restrictions for South Yorkshire. Going back to the office now to finish my speech for this afternoon and catch up on constituents' emails. Well, I think this is a position that none of us wanted to be in. It's really hard news for people all over the region who are weary of lockdown, who are suffering economically, suffering from the deprivation of, of relationships with family and friends. But the truth is, as Dan Jarvis said, that this is a dangerous and serious situation. And the NHS isn't overwhelmed, but we're starting to be at the point where that could feasibly happen. And so we need to act now to make sure that the NHS can cope uh, with the, the rise in coronavirus cases but can also continue to offer um, normal services. In Penniston and across Barnsley, we have a really proud tradition of honouring our brave servicemen and women. And I'm here at the War Memorial in Westminster Hall. 
And obviously it's really sad that we can't meet physically together to share our normal Remembrance Day um, commemorations. But I think it is really important that we do mark Remembrance Day in our own homes, that we thankfully remember the many, many servicemen and women who've paid the ultimate price for us over many years, uh, buying us freedom and peace. The very fact that we have reopened schools, that 99% of state schools are now open, shows just how committed this government is to tackling child poverty because saving our children's education, catching children up uh, where yes. they've fallen behind is the number one thing that we can well, do so to help bring people out of poverty. Yeah. It's Wednesday night, I've just got into Sheffield. They're not voting tomorrow, which has meant that I've come, uh, been able to come home. Um, so I've got tomorrow and Friday in the constituency, uh, meeting people, visiting businesses, uh, just need to get back home now. We've just been for a visit here at CTL Steel in Ecclesfield. They employ over 200 people on this site. Fascinating uh, different businesses, different manufacturing, and some great ideas from the team here about how to develop apprenticeships and employ more people in the future. It's been great to get out and about in the constituency this morning. This afternoon, I've had various Zoom meetings and an online surgery. Obviously, current situation, it's harder for people to come into the office. Off to pick the kids up from school now. It's Friday, I'm in the constituency, been doing lots of letters and phone calls and emails this morning. Just popping over to Fox Valley to get lunch from the amazing Bridge Bakery. So this is my constituency office. Um, obviously most of the time as an MP I'm in Parliament in Westminster, but when I'm here in the constituency this is where I'm based. I've got a fantastic team who are here all week. So even when I'm in Parliament they're here dealing with things in the constituency, whether that's emails, phone calls, um, helping people with, with, with various different issues. As an MP, I do get an enormous volume of correspondence, probably about three or four hundred emails a day at the moment and phone calls. So obviously no MP can, can um, reply to all those emails on their own. So that's what the team is for. I've got a team here and I've got a team in Parliament and they're doing an amazing job. But actually, for a lot of women I speak to, it's the lack of informal childcare that has been the, one of the big issues over lockdown. Not being able to use family and friends, whether that's on a routine basis or an emergency basis. I think, you know, the lockdown, the closure of schools, you know, all the restrictions have shown us just how much we rely on other people in our community, in our network, not just to look after our children so we can work, but to help bring up our children, to help contribute to their lives, to our relationships. Mm -hmm. 